Hello and welcome to Moving Iron Podcast Market Roundup with Angie Setzer. Angie, how, how was your Thanksgiving? It was good. Good, yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. I, I feel like the six week or four weeks between like Thanksgiving and Christmas become the Wild West with diet. Yeah. So... Oh yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna go eat some pie for breakfast. This is uh, this is cheese tray and meat tray time at the uh, at the office now. Everybody brings yeah. those in, so good times. Cookies, pretzels covered yeah. in chocolate, all kinds of good stuff that you should not eat. But yeah. a thousand calories a day of extra crap that you don't need. So yeah, outstanding. Exactly. Looking forward to you can it. see it in my face. <laughs> <laughs> well, good deal. So we were talking before we got started. <clears throat> And you brought up a very interesting point that I had not actually picked up on in the news. So talk to me a little bit about what's happening with the with Russia and Ukraine right now. Yeah, so uh, fun, fun situation right now. No one's really sure what it's going to mean. So this could be something that we could be talking about um, for the next several weeks as a huge deal. It could be something that completely goes away. So that's the funnest part, the most fun part about commodities anyway, is that you can see a headline, see something happen, and you just don't know quite what it'll mean going forward. But so Russia and Ukraine have been frenemies for quite some time now, obviously. Uh, we had the Crimea annexation in 2014, where Russia came and kind of forcibly took Crimea and made it one of their own. Um, since then, the two countries have been kind of living amongst uh, themselves, dealing with each other, um, building their uh, agricultural production and exports and uh, just kind of living their lives. Um, however, the the anger is still kind of smoldering. Ukraine's still a little angry about what took place there with the, the annexation of Crimea. And Russia is just kind of like, what are you going to do about it? Like the big bully on the, the playground. So we have this strait in the Sea of Azov is what it's called. And it's a, a it leads into the Black Sea. And both countries border this strait. Um, and at the end of it sits Ukraine's largest industrial port. Um, so that's cool. Everyone's chilling just fine, not really having any issues until Russia went ahead and built a bridge. And in true Russian style, they built this bridge kind of towards the, the end of the strait near the Ukrainian port and made it exceptionally short. So now Ukraine's large boats that need to get into this port cannot get there. And the anger has really kind of started to, to boil over. And we saw this weekend Russia attack and seize three Ukrainian vessels, injure two soldiers. They say they're not giving them back. The United Nations Security Council is meeting today at 11. Um, and so we'll have to see what happens. So the one side, um, I have a couple different friends that I talked to that are Russian wheat traders. One says that this doesn't matter. This port has very little to do with Ukrainian exports when it comes to agricultural products. It, it's not a big deal. Uh, we won't even care about it in another week or so. The other side says that this is going to boil over into a huge deal. And obviously, you cannot export grain if you're at war. I mean, you can, but it makes it a little difficult. So we'll have to be watching that to see what kind of develops today and, and throughout. The EU has been putting... Um, uh, they've been uh, sanctioning Moscow and, and really kind of trying to crack down on this behavior. Um, so we'll have to see, you know, what happens here uh, in the, the next couple of days. Right on. That's, well, I mean, I guess if, if there's not a lot that goes through there agriculturally, then there won't be <clears throat> a big issue. But any volatility in that part of the world right now has got to drive wheat up, right? Yeah. You would think overnight we were up seven, um, you know, and it kind of makes you wonder timing wise, which obviously this is probably purely coincidental, but Russia has been pumping their exports. So they've been anticipating like 32 million metric ton of wheat to go out for the year. They basically will have met that by January 1st. So it makes you wonder if they weren't really pushing the exports because they knew that this was going to kind of come to a head. You know, and, and they've got another six, seven months, eight months before the next crop is harvested. So, mm -hmm. I mean, that's all meh. It's, it's right. all theory. Um, but we did see the USDA increase Ukrainian exports in their last um, uh, supply and demand number. Mm -hmm. um, so if that doesn't happen, 
you know, that's been kind of weighing on the corn market as well. Ukraine has a record corn crop. Ukraine's going to have tons of corn, yada, yada, yada. But like I said, if they're kind of, uh, uh, their attention is elsewhere, what are you going to see happen? And, you know, no one really wants to have a vessel go into the Black Sea if, if they don't know what's going to take place. Right. Um, you know, the last thing you want to do is send a bunch of grain shippers into a war zone, you right. know. Yeah. And maybe it goes away. Like I said, we we really are not sure what's going to happen. This is in the initial, uh, very very early, um, you know, point. So who knows what will happen here as we go forward? But it's definitely something to be watching. Right on. Well, good stuff as usual, Angie. If uh, folks want to reach out to you and ask you a few more questions about anything that has to do with the commodity markets, how would they do that? <clears throat> Uh, you can find me at Goddess of Grain on Twitter, mm -hmm. or you can email me at a setzer, S E T Z E R, at citizenselevator.com. Right on. Well, this has been the Moving Iron Podcast, now part of the Global Ag Network. And Angie also has a show on there called Girls Talk Ag. So you can check that out there as well. Yes. Wear your earmuffs, kids, <laughs> if you listen to our show. My earmuffs, exactly. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Angie, take care of yourself. We'll talk to you again on Wednesday. You too. Have a good one. All right, we'll see you.